The full episode of this podcast can be seen for free. Click the link in the bio chat. Let's get it. People were like, oh, you didn't do all that time in confinement. Now I got the reports, the fights, the possession of the weapon, the assault on the inmate, fucking all this you're shit. You're Glock Dookie? Nah, we don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that we don't do that in Florida. <laughs> that's some Chicago shit. That's crazy. Who, uh, you got a little shank? Yeah. How do you make a shank? Fucking, I mean. Like, bro, I, if you're locked in this room, right? Like, this is your prison cell. Yeah. Like, just look around. How do, like, and, and say... Say this is say this is the entire prison, but this is also your prison. How the fuck do you get like a weapon made? You stop breaking this shit down. Okay, okay, you you can't just use like a fucking like golf club, like just use this. But but like remember, remember. Okay, okay, this is a recreation area, and then you go you get to your cell. Like, what would you think? Be like, yo, okay, I'm about it because every time I see it with a shank, I'm like, nigga, that look like a legit knife. Yeah. How the fuck did you make that? Well, all right, the white dudes at the prison, they do the construction at the prison as far as, like, the inmates because they're cool with the COs. They'll get pieces of metal from the roof, whatever, and they'll put it somewhere, they'll bury it, and then they'll sell it to you. So you can go about it, you can go about it like that. Uh, a clipboard, you know the piece that actually holds the paper down? Yeah. So I broke that shit off in school and had a piece about this big and sharpened it up and turned it into a box cutter. A double A battery. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Nah, just chill, just chill. <laughs> a, du a double A battery. Yeah. If yeah. you take a double A and you scrape it in the on the cell, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You, you got a little area, you scrape shit. You scrape both ends off and you take out all the acid. And there's like a little needle piece, and you take that out. Now you just got a cylinder. You know what I'm saying? It's empty, whatever. You flatten it, then you file one side so it peels and it opens up. Then you double, you know, fold it over again, you sharpen it up. Now that AA battery is a box cutter. Then you take the toilet paper roll, just the cardboard. You take that. You take the AA battery. You put it in the cardboard, fold it back, fold it up, tie it up. Now you got a handle on a box cutter. So when you run up on dude while we're going to breakfast, hit his face. Now you can see his fucking teeth because you just cut through his cheek, the muscle, all that shit. That's the How easy the way to make a box that? cutter. Chain link fence. You take that, you keep twisting, you keep twisting, it breaks off, you straighten it out, shopping it up. Now you got a little poker. How the fuck do you learn this shit? You got to learn this shit. And we get razors in there. When you was getting in there, they give you a razor to shave with. You pop that bitch out, put it in your mouth, and just sit with it. I thought only Puerto Rican bitches could do that. Everybody doing that, bro. You tie that shit to a pencil, you can put two on it, cut somebody, leave two. That's what I got cut with. Razor. Yeah. So the first person I cut when I was in confinement, my bro across the tier from me had a razor. He broke it in half, put it behind the stamp on an envelope. When the guard came around, he, hey, CO, can you pass my pictures over to sell da da da? Put a couple pictures of his family in there, acted like he wanted to show me. The CO passes it to me. Now I got the razor behind the stamp. I tied it on with a flexible pen that I had in confinement. He called my bunkie to the door. My bunkie goes to the door. I grabbed the back of his head and I cut his throat. What? That was the first kid I popped in prison. Wait, yeah. your bunkie? Yeah. I had a crip in the cell with me, yeah. Oh, so you want to beat his ass? five dudes. No, I already beat his ass, but there was a situation he had with my bro that sent me the razor. So my bro sign language and me like, oh, yeah, I'm going to cut him when I get out. What do you mean sign language? Sign language. Like how? Like, we do sign language. Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. No, but how you say cut that motherfucker? Cut. That, nah, 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 nah. Dude, yeah. Nah, that's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, shoot the razor. Shoot it over here. I'm going to cut him. Yeah. Shoot the razor. Bop. Got him. You're not trolling me, all right? Nah. The same kid yeah, I cut. Bro, listen, bro that's over in the next room, that same kid I cut, he stabbed him. When I got cut, that that kid that's in the next room yo, with us, he cut the kid that cut me. I, I, I'm just thinking, I'm like, yo, <laughs> this is so crazy. I'm like, you tell me niggas is locked up, they learn sign language, they know yeah. they learn to make weapons. You motherfuckers are resourceful. And be in the streets just doing nothing. But we go in there and learn all type of shit, yeah. Motherfuckers join gangs and learn all types of shit and fucking, yeah. But I learned the sign language in the county because when you're in, we call it texting. Call it texting? Yeah, that's how you text. You do sign language. Like, but ooh, like, like that, that's just like the slang for it. Like, yeah, I have like a little 
class, like group meeting class? Nah, but it's like if you want to sell across from me, right, and I want to tell you something I don't want other people to hear, I'm going to text you. I'm going to write it on the cell window, and you're going to read it. Suppose you, but, but your bunkie can read it, too, because you got to learn the language. You got to position yourself to where somebody can't see. Because mm. if you plot it and see, that's the thing. If some, if you in the cell with somebody and you can tell that they're sign language and they don't want you to see it, you can assume it's about you. So that creates a little bit of tension too. So you cut the nigga's throat. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't. I die. heard him from like here to here. Nah, he don't die. Nah. But that's like attempt to murder. Mm mm. So salt in the Yo, inmate. you know what's been crazy watching these little King Von videos? Which, by the way, hey, listen. Whoever's, I never knew jail videos were so crazy. Like, whoever did that shit in Chicago and got them videos, ridiculous. But, I, I fuck with dude that's getting them. Yo, after everything happened, basically, niggas was like, like, it'd be a whole ass fight. This and third. Hey, you wanna, hey, what happened? Nothing. You wanna press charges? Nah. Yeah. I'm like, yo, what? Yeah. <laughs> and I've been waiting for somebody to be like, yo, y'all seen what happened? He did it. Yeah. Like, I, like, everybody's holding it down. It's just lit. It's not lit like yo shit like well you gotta have like a click at that point. Nah, I mean like bro, you can't say nothing, bro, because you got COs that if you tell them what's going on, they're gonna run it back and or you got COs that send hits, bro. Cause the COs be doing their thing. You got COs that gang bang. You got COs that hey CO, we trying to get dude from around here. I right, do that shift change. I don't want to do the paperwork. So as soon as he goes to leave, we go and pop whoever. You know, so what what yeah, happens probably. from that guy? So so your your bunny because I ain't gonna lie, if he heals, if he goes to the doctor, heals and comes back, he's fucking you up. Nah, Cut so I mean throat. that's pretty much what happened. So what they ended up doing was they took him. I cut him. He started kicking the door. He kicks the door. The COs come and then he tells them like, "Oh, I want to kill myself." Like. As if Wait, he, he doesn't tell on you? Nah, he doesn't tell. You're capping. I swear to God. I would have definitely be like, bro, he, look, he, get the shake. It's right and there. And that's why I respected it. He didn't tell on me. No, I flushed it before the COs came. I flushed the oh, race. you got to make a new one, though. Yeah, well, that's the thing is I thought when I flushed it that he was going to start, you know, trying to fight and then they're going to know that I did it. But he basically told them, yo, whatever, whatever. They take him to medical. They fix him up. They put him in the cell next to me. So he came back and they put him in the cell right next to me. So when they take us out for showers, I'm on the door like talking mad shit because I can see him come out. He's handcuffed and I can see what the fuck I did. Then when I hit the pound, when I got out of confinement, I caught him at school, like lining up for school and shit. I walked up behind him. I took my finger and basically slid it on his neck, like fucking with him. So I ran up and he turns back. He sees me. Yeah, you a bully. All right, I'm a, you're a I'm fucking bully. A, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Da, 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 da. You know, he was. Do you think something. you're a bully? Nah, it's prison, bro. Wait, do you think you only acted like, because you're describing some shit where you, you seem like a really bad guy right now. Nah, that's prison, though. And that's the thing is. I was, was an innocent guy. I, no, fuck, he wasn't. I was telling these stories and I ended up getting a lot of backlash for how honest I was about the shit. Because we were doing shit to people that was fucked up. And it's like, in there, there's no sympathy. It doesn't exist. Nobody cares, bro. You'll have somebody that's like, yo, my mom's just dying from cancer and da 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 Don't nobody give a fuck about that. You got food, we want the food. You paying us or what? Oh, now nah, you ain't paying? Well, now nah, he's getting held down and poked up a hundred times. And, you know, like the extortion game in there is crazy. It, so it, it's it, like. Is there a limit in there? Like, okay, all right, we're going to beat his ass. We might cut him like 15 times. We can't kill him, though. Nah, that's the thing that fucking shocked everybody on Fresh and Fit. You had kids getting broomsticks in their ass, and it was blowing their intestines out. Like, it, it was bad. That shit, yeah. It's a Florida prison? Yeah, and you can Google it. Florida TOH, test the heart. You had kids getting held down, and broomsticks were getting shoved in their ass and blowing their intestines out. You had kids getting... Not gonna lie. At that, that point, you that, got a snitch. That fence poker I told you about, they were getting poked up 100, 200 times. All up in their feet, their armpit, their ribs, everything. They're gonna poke you in your ass so you can't sit correctly, your feet so you can't run and attack nobody. Like, fucking people love. Bad. And nobody's telling. Like, because I'm definitely telling Nah, that. you had people that were telling you. Yeah, you gotta get to telling at that yeah. point. Yeah, well, that's when Priya came in, the Prison Rape Elimination Act. So they started, they, yeah, they started okay. giving people rape charges for doing that broomstick shit. I never did that. Oh, None of my people shit. ever did that. But that was a real thing. Yeah, it's like sodomy. Fuck. It, it is sodomy. It's exactly what it is. But this is the thing is, most people would act like they were going to do it. 
just to scare you and, yeah, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay. And then they start getting, you know, they're paying for protection. But there were some kids that went through with it and fucked kids up from that shit, like, permanently. There was one kid he sued and ended up getting a settlement off of that. God.